this video is a new video about how to turn a Sonoff Wi-Fi smart switch into a Wi-Fi garage door opener. Some of the old videos I saw might have had the old circuit board and this style I got is uh, I received in February of 2020 is a new style circuit board which I had to figure out how to get it to work correctly. First of all it comes like this with no screws in these covers so you just knock those out and then just pry this little cover off and you'll expose the circuit board. Um, so the first thing you got to do is go to the power side. This is your inside right here. Um, source your input. So your plug-in is going to go to this end. So you'll want to remove this wire right here because you don't want power going to your output. All we want to do for the garage door opener is to connect these two wires. This relay, when turned on, will just close the two wires. Um, so the first thing you want to do is remove this power out of here, which is just a solder connection. So heat up that terminal right there to the left and then pull the wire out and then you'll want to drill a hole right where I turned it black right here. Drill a hole with a number 30 drill bit and because you're going to end up the wire you take out of here the black wire is going to end up going through that hole and you're going to solder it to this solder joint right here um, but what we need to do I found out is you need to separate because this is goes into the neutral side of the input and that causes a problem with some garage door openers so what I do is I'm going to cut right there on that line so I don't know if I can get a good video of this I just put it in a vise and then I use a wire wheel like this and I just go in and gently carefully little at a time you have to pretty much cut all the way through the circuit board because there's actually metal connections in the circuit board so once that's separated if you take an ohm meter and put it from this side of the black line to this side of the black line, you should not have continuity. If you do, you either cut it, gotta cut a little deeper. You do have to watch because there's a, I think it's a capacitor maybe, uh, mounted on the other side, so you just gotta go just enough. And actually what happens is I get real close and then I take a small pin and just scrape out the rest until I get no continuity. Um, then, like I said, I put that black wire through the hole that I drilled and then solder right to this joint. And when you're done, it will look like this. So, this is where, I'll hold it the same way, this is where I put, took the initial black wire off. That's where I drilled a hole to put that right through. And then I soldered it right on top of that other joint and you can see my cut that I put through the circuit board and now it's ready to go you just have to follow the instructions on how to um, connect it and when you in the app once you get this set up go into settings and then switch the it's, ca it's called uh, Incher, I think it is. Um, turn the Incher on and then set it for 0.5 seconds. And that'll just give you a quick on-off. We'll just, just close these two contacts inside the relay. It'll just bam, bam, and then your door will go up. It'll be fantastic. Um, so anyways, this is the newer setup. It doesn't have those big heavy-duty silver solders that you're used to seeing on some of the other videos. Um, good luck. It worked great for me.